welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, I have something from my favorite brand. One of my favorite brands, Solomon. Let's open up the box and see what we got because these are my new all-time favorite hiking shoes from Solomon called X Ultra Pioneer. And these are Climasense waterproof. Currently $134 on Amazon. The links for Amazon and Backcountry are in the description below. Sometimes Backcountry, they actually do have better promotions than Amazon. So check out both links. But let's get back to this awesome, awesome shoe. Let's start from the very beginning. This review is not a regular review. This review is specifically for my ultimate survival shoe section so basically if this wasn't just your hiking shoe but let's say you were wearing it and something bad happened i don't know whatever kind of survival situation you want to think of the the riots broke out some kind of natural disaster i don't know you tell me but something bad happened and now you had to survive you had to run you had to walk for extended periods of time climb fight everything necessary to survive. Would this shoe be a good shoe for your survival? Well, how do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin with the criteria number one, comfort level. And in order to assess the comfort level of all the boots, shoes, everything I review on this channel, I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk right after. No pauses in between. And then I continue wearing the shoes or boots for the rest of the day so that the total wear time is eight hours unbelievable comfort level absolutely fantastic i love these shoes let let me tell you why let's start from the very first factor that contributes to the comfort level that would be the weight let me turn on the scale and i would say this should be about 14 ounce let's see if i'm anywhere close wow pretty close 13.4 Excellent weight, excellent, excellent weight, especially considering that, the, that these do have the waterproofing. Now, whenever it comes to the hiking shoes, trail running shoes, I usually, my recommendation is, obviously you want lightweight, you do want lightweight, because with lightweight shoe, you can walk for extended periods of time, you can run if necessary, you're just you know much better off with a lighter shoe than the heavier shoe. Obviously with lighter shoe, you, you, come, you kind of, uh, um, compromise the some of the protection but obviously with lightweight it's just much more uh, comfortable overall so here 13.4 it's well under the 15 ounce kind of the gold standard for a lightweight hiking shoe trail running shoe so pretty impressive but this is not the only factor let's also talk about the flexibility of the outsole that's another thing that contributes to the comfort level and as you can see here it is very flexible. It's not flimsy flexible. It definitely has enough stiffness to handle pretty good on, uh, you know, on the rocky road. But this flexibility, you can run properly in the shoes without any problems. Let's move on now to the inner sole. And I'm gonna take it out and you will see that this is my favorite ortholite inner sole. Now you probably see that there is some heel bed and uh, arch support. This is pretty soft, so there's not much point. Overall, this inner sole is more for flat feet, which to me, this fits me just perfect. And there's plenty of cushioning, so it does give you some impact protection. Now, taking out the inner sole, we got the padding here in the tongue, as you can see, nicely padded. The shaft or whatever there is off it is nicely padded. And throughout the whole shoe, it is very, very soft. I mean, the comfort level, it's more of a narrower fit if you like that, if you if it fits you, this is this is going to be the most comfortable shoe you will, you ever had. Okay, yeah, it's that good. All right, let's talk about the criteria number two now: proofing and protection. So, proofing wise, yes, these are waterproof. This is Climate Sense Salomon's own waterproofing technology. It is good. It's been good in my experience. I mean, I I, I had pretty much. Everything that Solomon has, I, I, I had that. And with the waterproofing, I 
really cannot tell the difference between the Gore-Tex, which is a fancy waterproofing technology, more expensive waterproofing technology implemented in some, in some of the shoes, and the Climasense. They work well, both of them. Uh, both are breathable enough as the waterproofing sh waterproof shoe can be or a boot. Um, the only difference is in pricing. Here you definitely are saving quite a lot not having that uh, Gore-Tex but the climate sense waterproofing. Personally, I really don't care that much about waterproofing in a shoe, but here you go. If you like a waterproof shoe, this is a pretty good option. Now, let's talk about the protection. We have this uh, X Ultra famous toe cap, works excellent, definitely gives you some protection. I wouldn't say anything like an impact protection, all right? Don't drop anything on your toe because overall it's, it's a heavy, uh, not, don't drop anything heavy on your toe because this is a soft toe, there you go. But it's still, uh, if you're doing some mountaineering on the rocky road, this gives you plenty amount of protection from those loose rocks. Obviously you have some pr protection from the outsole, we will talk about that later, nothing in the shaft, obviously, and of course the heel is reinforced as well. Okay, let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design features. Now, quality-wise, Solomon, they know what they're doing whenever it comes to outdoor stuff, whenever it comes to tactical combat stuff. Their shoes, their boots, their trail running shoes, I mean, they have a lot of stuff. But whenever it comes specifically to the hiking boots, whenever it comes specifically to X-Ultra, I don't know what it is, but it, they just nailed it. In this, in the boot version, the mid-size boot, which is still my all-time favorite boot in general, uh, mid-size at least, hiking boot. And with this shoe right here, it, no exception. I mean, Pioneer, it's cheaper than the Gore-Tex. And honestly, I, I think this might be even better deal overall. Now you can check out all the reviews, of course, on Amazon, there's plenty of them. Again, the links are in the description below. Let's talk about the design features. In design features here, I talk about the lacing system. Here, as you can see, nothing crazy, just your straightforward lacing system. I do like the strings themselves. They're very nice, thick, and actually they are uh, textured. So it, it's very easy to tighten this uh, shoe. Now you probably notice there's three pairs of fabric hooks. There is one steel hook or metal hook, and then there's a closed, um, closed hook on the very top. Overall, pretty good, uh, Not nothing crazy. Let's move on to the criteria number four, outsole, traction stability. Now, this is where crazy stuff happens. I love this outsole. Probably, I would say probably one of my all-time favorite outsoles in general. I mean, it's very simplistic. As you can see, the pattern is very simplistic. As you, overall, it looks flat. I mean, you see, it's, it, it looks flat. It doesn't look like anything special, but then when you actually put it to use, and uh, whenever I do my runs and my walks, I do them on a variety of different surfaces. I do I start with the regular pavement, going to the dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, rocky road, trail surface, marble tile, so everything I can find. And actually the rock wall too, I tried it on the rock wall as well. Obviously, you know, not the real rock, but more of plastic. I live in Florida uh, so far for now, uh, but no, no, unfortunately no real rock around me here. Uh, but on everything that I can put it on, this performs unbelievably well this is just fantastic these grooves are really aggressive but at the same time they're not deep and not too complicated where something can get stuck like for example loose little rocks uh, maybe some mud and take away from the uh, traction and stability not the case here performs very well on pretty much everything you throw at it and honestly Whenever it comes to slip resistant, these are not advertised as slip resistant, but they actually perform better as slip resistant um, outsole in general on slippery surfaces like marble and tile compared to some work boots that I, I have and, and had. Yes, okay, so pretty good stuff. All right, so let's move on to the criteria number five now, temperature. Obviously no point to talk about cold temperatures. These are not winter, they're not insulated. Obviously, you know, you do have waterproofing, but still, you don't really have any insulation. Uh, so no point to talk about winter. But in the hot temperatures, testing them here in Florida, about 92 degrees I was running, it was really hot. 
but uh, very nice, very breathable, even considering that there is waterproofing implemented in this shoe. Uh, overall fantastic for even for hot weather really really good all right let's move on to the criteria number six now sizing no problems with the sizing at all these are true to the size uh, the only thing keep in mind is they are narrower fit if you prefer that you're gonna appreciate this you're gonna love this if you do like a wider toe toe box you might want to look around some more in fact i would recommend checking out keen and i would check recommend checking out merrell those are pretty good options for people who like uh, more wider toolbox. Okay, let's move on to the criteria number seven, balance of application. So if these really were my ultimate survival shoes, your ultimate survival shoes, you were wearing them and you were surviving, would they be good? If I had an option, if, if my only option was shoes in general, let's say I can't wear boots, just the shoes, this is definitely what I would want to have this is it right here of everything else that i reviewed and i mean i reviewed some awesome stuff from adidas terex some seriously cool stuff from la sportiva ultras phenomenal arcteryx i had on this channel really really good shoes hiking shoes trail running shoes i have a lot of stuff on this channel i have reviewed a lot of things this right here is what i would pick out of all of it i mean this is just great <laughs> this is really really good and let's move on to the criteria number eight here which is the last criteria here the price like i said in the beginning around 130 dollars it's a little bit on the pricier side i have to say definitely uh these are not gore-tex if it was gore-tex i would say okay 130 that sounds about right for a gore-tex shoe but these are not gore-tex so 130 is definitely on the pricier side especially compared to a lot of other stuff the competition which i just mentioned i did the sterex they have some i mean the swift r2 swift r3 their uh east trail check out i've done the reviews on the channel fantastic stuff Sakoni in the lower price range very affordable great quality two trail running shoes so they have these do have a lot of competition so just because i'm saying hey i love this this is i would pick a lot of it also has to do with fitment so again if you find something that fits you stick to that and usually with the brand most of the times they're gonna be doing kind of the same fitment the same kind of uh um, style of offer of shoe. they don't change too much uh, they do have like for example some of the salomon shoes they do have a wider option wide toe box option uh, but i'm not sure if if, if these do uh, just yet uh, so with that being said just make sure you look around some more shop around some more because you might be able to find something for yourself that is even better than this so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about this review what do you think about the shoe if you have any requests for reviews drop them in the comments below and i will be happy to address them as always thank you for your time god bless and i'll see you in the next video